Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. We finally have a release date for Ark Survival Ascended on console. Well, at least one of the consoles. So let's get into this. It says Ark Survival Ascended will be released on November 14th for Xbox Series X and S and Windows. Studio Wildcard has confirmed in the latest community crunch that Ark Survival Ascended will be released for Xbox and Windows on November 14th. The Xbox version will be up to spec with the latest PC functionality as of November 14th and will launch directly into crossplay with the PC version, along with new servers, including Xbox only servers. So if you don't want to be behind, you can actually just play on Xbox only servers and hit the ground running. That way you're not way behind playing with PC people that are probably going to, let's face it, murder you because they have a head start. And then here's the great news. <laughs> and that's why if you're on PlayStation 5, I don't know why you even care about this game at this point. I am in PlayStation main, but if I'm going to play Ark, I'm, going, I'm just switching to Xbox because my PC isn't powerful enough. Trying to wait until the AI technology gets better to, before I upgrade. So I'm just going to play on Xbox. So anyway, let's get into this. PlayStation 5 version is targeted at the end of the month. You know that's not going to happen. And the exact reasons are unknown. Wildcard says final preparations are being made with Sony. I think, like I said in a previous video, Sony wants to make sure that... <laughs> the game does everybody wants their money back because if it runs like crap crashes the system causes some issue people are going to want their money back and sony does not give your, their money back it makes you wonder why i'm a sony guy because steam does it really good I'm a, if i'm not mistaken xbox has has a return policy nintendo will not take your money back unless you fight with them so uh, until sony and nintendo get that good return system I'm very hesitant to keep buying digital games on their system. Right now, I have over 500 games, both combined physical digital on PS on the PlayStation. So that's one of the reasons why I still buy stuff for because I'm already in it. But uh, I don't know. Since Ark is one of my favorite games in the last two generations, I'm thinking about switching to Xbox because of this game. And just because Xbox has better servers and stuff like that is... is and to be honest, Spider-Man's really good. Spider I like Spider-Man 2. But it's not my style of game anymore at my age. My style of game is something more like Grounded. I like I like the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids thing. I like that you can come back to it and keep playing it basically forever. Uh, games like Starfield. You come back to it, keep playing it forever, because you know they're going to keep updating that game. It's It's massive. And with mods, hopefully they add mods to console, since Microsoft owns them. I don't know why not. It'd be really cool. Microsoft just needs like a workshop on the Xbox itself, kind of like Steam does. I know they're kind of afraid of of uh, copyright and stuff like that. Let's say Pikachu is in Starfield. You have a Pikachu ship or something, or naughty stuff. You know what I'm talking about. But it'd be cool to just have a mod system set up built into the Xbox itself. That would be a huge win over Sony. And I think it would mig have a lot of people migrate to the console. And everybody, I guarantee you every comment on this video is going to be like, just get a PC, just play on PC, PC Master Race. Well, people like the ease of use of consoles. Plus, Xbox 500 bucks, a comparable PC with super hype and everything. It's like three to 4,000 bucks if you want the creme de la creme. <laughs> it doesn't always work, 100%. Anyway, I'm rambling here now. That's the release date for this. What do you think? Or do you think this is bull crap that PlayStation's getting the shaft? Do you think they should make Xbox wait until the PlayStation first is ready? Or are you like, no, I'm on Xbox. I don't care about PlayStation. Screw that. I don't know. I think it would be better if they waited until the PS5 version was ready. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sound off in the comments below. And I'll see you on November 14th. Stay frosty. Assuming they launch it on time and don't delay it last second. <laughs> uh, wild card.